Welcome to eGroupware 23.1. I want to show you today how to create a Gmail account with OAuth in our new version. So I click on site menu, create new account. I insert my email address and I click on continue. It opens up the dialog for the access permissions. I need to click at the moment on advanced and um, unsafe because it's not yet approved by Gmail. There this video is for. Now I can see what are the services which I want to use. I can open it up to show this is what is needed. And then I can click on continue and it starts detecting first step IMAP account. So then I can select folders like this is my junk folder. This is the send folder. I click on continue. There is no thief support. So click on continue. And now it detects the settings for the send mail and it creates account. I can add my organization like this is eGroupware GmbH. And I can add a signature like greetings from eGroupware Germany. And I could select here also other users, but at the moment it's just for that one user. And I click save and it gets created. To show it correctly, I once need to do a reload here. Then I can close that account and open the one related to Gmail, which shows the Gmail labels or folders, how eGroupware would call it. And it shows the eGroupware subfolder, which I created previously. Now looking at the same view in Gmail, I'm here. It shows my labels, subfolders, and also here, my inbox eGroupware folder. On the inbox, it shows my mails here. Now doing the same in eGroupware, clicking on the inbox, shows my um, mails here. I can select the mail I want to show for a preview. And if I'm clicking through the mails, it will always be displayed in a kind of three pane view. And I can also open a mail by double click, which then open it in the full mode, also showing the attachments being added there. Now doing the same in Gmail. I have my Gmail account inbox and I can click on the different mails which are in my inbox, also showing invitations or something with attachments. Going back to eGroupware, next step is compose a mail. So I click on the compose. I can either add something from the address book or I can click or copy paste something here. Now I'm using my own email address. I add a title, send eGroupware mail with a Gmail OS and add some text. Hello from eGroupware, and it has for sure my signature included. And then I can just click on send. It gets sent and notified that sending was successfully done. And clicking on the send folder shows the mail is there. Clicking on inbox also shows the mail was coming into my Gmail account. Now checking the same from Gmail. I look on my 
send folder. It shows the email, which is here and looking on inbox also shows the mail here. Going back to eGroupware, now I want to show how to add a folder. I click on my inbox, add folder. I give it a name like test folder and click on add. It shows up here, clicking on the test folder shows it is there, but there is nothing in. And I can now click, for example, on that eGroupware folder, which shows some mails. I can select these two mails and I can track and drop it from here to here and either use move to or copy to. So for example, I now do a copy to, which leaves the messages in that folder, but also can go to test folder and it shows my two mails are now there. Doing the same in Gmail, I'm now going to reload Gmail, which now shows this is my test folder with the two mails in it. And I can click on that eGroupware fo folder showing that amount of mails. Going back to now eGroupware, I'm in my test folder. I'm now doing the same as a move. I'm clicking here and I say move to, then it's removed here and it's added here into. And looking the same here, now on my test folder, doing a reload, it shows only that one mail and here it shows the mails again. Okay, now we done read a mail, compose a mail, send a mail, create a folder. And um, now I want to show how to delete either one mail or multiple mails. For deleting one mail, I'm clicking on my test folder, selecting my mail and clicking delete which is removing the mail from that folder and going now to Gmail, clicking on the test folder, doing a reload. It shows it is empty and in eGroupware, I now want to show how delete the folder. I'm clicking on my test folder and click on delete folder, which would also delete the messages in it. Then it is gone. It shows now my inbox. I'm here doing a reload in Gmail and my subfolder is also gone. Now, next step, I go to my subfolder like that eGroupware folder. I'm going to select all mails and then I'm going to delete all mails. It shows a warning that I'm de deleting everything in that view. I click on yes. It says I'm deleting all mails in eGroupware and it shows nothing found anymore. I going back to Gmail, selecting that folder and it also shows there is nothing in there. So deleting of all mails, deleting of a folder, deleting of a single mail, everything works with eGroupware. I'd like to show some additional functionalities. So going back to my inbox and I can, for example, if I'm selecting that mail I previously created, I can, if the contact is not yet there, I can add the mail by clicking on the plus. It goes to my address book. It adds 
the name and the organization which are has been part of that and i can for example correct the writing here into capital g and i save it into my personal address book if i'm now doing a reload you can see that now the gmail the nicole oster gmail account is shown here with the avatar and clicking on it will open the account with the CRM view, which shows on the left hand side contact details on on the right hand side, if there is already something stored like a mail or a task or a phone note, something like that. And same works for other um, mails. So here, for example, this is my invitation mail for a video call. I can accept or deny it in eGroupware. And if the contact is already known, I can open up the CRM view, showing then the contact details and my mails here. And calendar also shows that that video call which are already has been accepted before um, and was added to my calendar. Going back to mail up, I could also here create a ticket out of it, or I can save the mail to file manager or do other actions with it. If I'm composing something, I can show how to use contact stored in eGroupware, like my Birgit Becker account selected from the address book. I can also so send with some attachments and I at something from the VFS, which is the file manager of eGroupware. So for example, adding these three documents, attach it to my mail, then it's shown here as attachment, but I could also do and share it instead. And then if I'm um, sending it, I can also select that it should be directly says as an info log. So sending it now out, sends the mail, put it into send folder from Gmail mm -hmm. and opens up the dialogue from eGroupware um, info log and I can save it there. So if I now go to my CRM view here and it shows the newly created and sent mail here. Yeah, I think there is nothing more I can or want to add. If something is missing, please let us know what functionality we are missed to show. Uh, thank you for watching eGroupware 23.1.